Rumors says it's like an echo chamber. Wow, can you pick that sound up? They all speak. Happy, happy, happy day. Love, love, love way. <laughs> Speaking to us. Yeah. Hello. Oh. A live instrument, so when you talk, the, uh, the sound goes in and it starts them vibrating. Do you think they're healing? Do you think that some of them yeah. have like some vibration that makes Oh yeah, different? well music has been used in healing forever. So... Can I talk to one of them? Sure. Alright, let's see. They're what, all talking back to us. Let's see right what now. this one wants to say. Hello? <laughs> wow! Ooh, let's see. And who's You're talking this? to the back up there. There's a the front. Here's a front. One Hello? Of, whoa! <laughs> Hello? I love it. Where the bluegrass and tell us, is it still popular? What's going on? Well, the, well, there's several kinds of banjo music. It is a very folksy instrument in the eight, early 1800s, and and that kind of music evolved into what they're calling now as folk or old time music. The next era of banjo playing, that old time music kind of evolved into bluegrass in the 1940s and 50s. And that's very popular. That's uh, probably the most popular of banjo music now. And there's another branch that was in the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties, that was Dixieland jazz, Dixie and traditional j mm -hmm. jazz, and that was a four-string banjo. And then the banjo was popular in England and in Ireland, and the Irish used it a lot in Irish music, and it, we call that the Irish banjo. I love that song. Now, what it was in Deliverance. And they yeah. were like these dueling banjos. Dueling banjos, right. And, and it was like, almost like it was a dance. It was like a, a love-making situation. What was, what was that about, the dueling banjos? Uh, I don't know who wrote that song, but uh, Eric Weisberg played it in the soundtrack. And when was that, the early 70s? They right. were saying that the banjos are probably the most eco-friendly. There's a lot of instruments, I, I would say, that are pretty in, environmentally right. friendly. Right. But from our standpoint, our, we, we build uh, what I feel are the world's best banjos. So we, we build them to last. So they'll, they'll actually last for generations. And because we only make 150 instruments a year or so. Wow. And so they're highly desirable and, and as for generations. Well, you told me there was a lady who, who, who bought this instrument 25 years ago. She paid $200 and that these instruments also are worth more. Can we go talk to this guy and see what, or is okay. that a girl? How do you know well, which one is? Oh, I guess it could go either way. The, uh -oh. the, this is a four string banjo with a short neck. It's called a tenor. Whoa. And this was popular in the 1920s this style of instrument. Right. And it, there's, in the 1960s, they played a lot of four string music and shaky pizza parlors and Ooh, your father's you gotta mustache. be, I'm gonna have to start pressing weights to, yeah. how much does this weigh? Oh, it's, it's uh, eight and nine pounds on that one, I guess. Wow, it's a, that one seems like a big boy. Well, and it's, it's rosewood, this one this happens to be beautiful. rosewood from India. It's beautiful. all hand carved. Beautiful. And inlaid oh. with uh, abalone and hand engraved gold. Hand carved pearl mm. on this one. This is a jewel. Yeah. Ladies, ladies, this is a jewel. Did you, did you I shoot I mean, it? hand carved, this is jewelry. This yes, is mu where, musical this, jewelry. It's musical jewelry. And you can also work out pressing weights with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. show you this. Let's see. This, this is uh, all like uh, oh. hand engraved different scenes on here. Oh, how beautiful. There's an yeah. eagle and fish and Bugs, bugs and flowers, flowers, bamboo, oh, birds. I like that one. How much would that cost me? Oh, if these I are about this? fifteen thousand each, one, roughly. And that's that's reasonable <laughs> for a piece of jewelry. It's not that bad. Yeah, a piece of jewelry that weighs nine pounds. <laughs> <laughs> a nine-pound piece of jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> Bollywood. What are we doing? <laughs> We're sanding. For the first coat of the varnish? Yes. I want to do it in time, like the banjo. Oh, wow. I'm getting the hang of it. Now, how do you know when to turn it? How do you know when it's done? You, when you don't have no more 
gloss. No, no more gloss. I like the gloss. That's so pretty. The second coat. Oh, we're doing the second. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the second coat. Okay. Yeah. How long does it usually take for a coat to dry? 48 hours. We do what? We buff it. We buff it. Just like you buff your car. This is great. And I. This is Richard. He's uh, Richard. Put, putting the instruments together. Oh, this Richard. is Mary Lynn. Richard. Hi, Richard. Richard. Richard is putting the <laughs> instrument together. That looks. What is, what's that little thing called? It's a wrench. A wrench. <laughs> We're using a wrench. And I have a wrench at home, but it doesn't look like that. It has a big round thing on it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, specialty wrench. And what are these little things? We're just putting the, we're putting the rim together here. This is the rim. Yeah. Oh, so this doesn't have anything to do with how tight the sound is, like on a guitar string. Oh sure. It does. Pulls the, pulls the head tight. Uh, how, what about mm -hmm. the, the sound? Doesn't affect the sound how tight it is. Yep. Yep. It does. Yep. I want to bang on it like a drum. You can't Go do ahead. that, can you? Sure you can. All right. sound. Would you give me a lesson? I mean, maybe a lighter one than this. We could start with yeah, we'll, a baby we'll one. Yeah, we'll grab a lighter one. All right. Lighter than mine? Yeah. Can you want I the little one? You? Yeah. Take this one. I like littler. Okay. Okay, put, put your fingers like that. Put one finger up here like that. Okay. That, oh, you got long fingernails. Probably won't work. Okay. Put, put one finger there. And put this finger on, on this First ring right here. Okay. Now try. Yeah. yeah. Like. Okay. See one, two. I know that people. You got it. You got it. That's a C. Let's stay with that. Okay. Okay. So all you have to do now with this with this hand is you pick one string up and brush down, and then pick the second string up and brush down, and then first again. Here like this. There you go. You just about got it. <laughs> well, I can't think about it because I don't. Okay. Hand, what's it called? Eye hand coordination. Eye hand. Okay. You should know. And he does. He 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 wears a patch and he has a high hand coordination. Okay, let's go. We're doing our. Job. And you'll have to cut the sound out of that. <laughs> Silly? Were we at timing at all? Was my arm moving anywhere near his? We don't know. Okay, you know what? This is my first time playing a banjo, but it won't be my last. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. It's been an honor. Fun. <laughs>